been more than 30 years since a nuclear reactor melted down and exploded at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. And now a Minnesota company is helping clean up the worst nuclear disaster in history. In this week's Maury story, Maury Glover shows us how. In an instant, the unimaginable. April 26, 1986. A safety test at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, which was then part of the Soviet Union, goes terribly wrong, causing one of its four reactors to explode and catch on fire. The blast fused 400 times the radioactive material from the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined into the atmosphere over Russia and Western Europe. It kills two reactor operators immediately, while 42 firefighters and plant staff die in the days, months, and years that follow from acute radiation poisoning and cancer. It's the worst nuclear disaster in history. You know, it's a, it's a world famous problem. More than three decades later, half a world away. It's first of a kind, it's the only one in existence. Salvation is hanging by a thread. Uh, right now I'm allocating control to uh, control the crane. This special crane designed by PAR Systems in Shoreview will help clean up the radioactive material at Chernobyl. Each control station has three joysticks, so you control the, ho the, the hoist, the trolley, and the bridge. It's suspended by six guide wires that will help a robotic arm pick up and carry tools and other items. It's, it's funny how that happened and, you know, how a company in Minnesota ended up with it, but, you know, it's, we have a long history in working with nuclear power and with the, uh, the labs that do nuclear work. That crane is a quarter-scale replica of the real crane that is part of what is known as the Chernobyl Megatomb. It, it was kind of a once-in-a-lifetime project. Immediately following the nuclear meltdown, the Soviets built a makeshift metal structure around the reactor that exploded, called the sarcophagus, to keep more radioactive material from getting out. But it was only supposed to last 30 years and was in danger of crumbling, which would have caused another tragedy. So a group of countries, including the United States, helped pay for a $1.6 billion steel arch to cover the sarcophagus for the next 100 years. Since the reactor is still radioactive, the megatomb had to be built 300 yards away and slid into place in November of 2016, making it the largest structure ever moved on land. It's 36,000 tons. Uh, like I said, it's 30, 30 stories tall. You know, that's a big structure to be completely wide open all the way through, not to mention that they had to move it uh, like 150 meters, 200 meters you know, on these giant runways. Inside the arch, two PAR Systems cranes, which are the length of football fields and can lift up to 50 tons, will help demolish the sarcophagus and eventually remove the radioactive rods and other dangerous materials that are still in and around the site. And then our equipment, it's the, it's the tip of the spear to go in and now dismantle the, the destroyed reactor and the building around it. It feels really good to have a, a part in, in, in taking care of the immediate problem, and that is Chernobyl being exposed to the elements, essentially. As part of his duties for PAR systems, Rob Owen traveled to Chernobyl, which is now part of the Ukraine, a handful of times. He says the environment is similar to Minnesota, and he saw the abandoned city of Pripyat and the exclusion zone the 19-mile area around the plant where nearly 120,000 people were forced from their homes firsthand. Driving through there was a little interesting because, or, and somewhat sad, because you see these uh, abandoned farms, abandoned villages where, I mean, trees are growing right through barns and houses and falling on them. In terms of radiation, I'm told it's the equivalent of a chest X-ray. No, Chernobyl is on fire. With an HBO miniseries chronicling the events that led up to the accident and its aftermath, Owen says the 33-year-old disaster is back in the public consciousness. And of course, everybody you know is interested in it. You know, when they find out I worked on Chernobyl, you know, and I'm sure it's the same with all the people here that worked on it. You know. People want to know about it. But helping put the ghosts of Chernobyl to rest for future generations is one of the highlights of his career. There are a lot of companies in Minnesota that work all over the world. Even here in you know, humble Shoreview, Minnesota, we can have an impact globally. In Shoreview, Maury Glover, 
Fox 9 News. Now, since the mega tomb was moved into place, Par System says it has been testing their equipment and is in the process of basically turning over the keys to the project. Fascinating. The company says it will now be up to the Ukrainian government to use the cranes to begin the long process of cleaning up that catastrophe.